we come to the monastery looking for a blessing. And remember the Buddha said that the best blessings come from within, the actions we do. That's how we bless ourselves, by choosing admirable friends, by helping our family, by being generous, by observing the precepts, training the mind, training the mind to be heedful. We live in a dangerous world, and we have dangerous minds. Greed, aversion, delusion can come in at any time and take over, and we don't realize they've taken over because we identify with them. We think it's our greed, our aversion, our delusion. And that's how they take charge. So we meditate to see that when these things come, we don't have to identify with them. We don't have to take them on. We have that choice. And the Buddha gives us better things to identify with, better things to hold on to. Like when you're, when you're focusing on the breath, you can make the breath really comfortable. You can allow that sense of comfort to spread through the body. To nourish the nerves, nourish the blood vessels, nourish the mind. Because one of the reasons the mind is so dangerous is because it's hungry all the time. If it doesn't get good food, it'll take whatever. So feed the mind well. And when it's well fed, with concentration, with virtue, with generosity, then it looks around and it begins to see its own habits, how it creates a lot of unnecessary suffering for itself, and how it can avoid doing that. That's when the mind is really blessed. That's a blessing for you, and it's a blessing for the people around you. So when you think about blessings, think about what you're doing, because that's where the real blessing comes from your own actions, the wisdom with which you engage with other people, the wisdom with which you engage your own mind. That's how you either leave yourself exposed to danger or you protect yourself. Because that's what the blessings do, is they offer protection. The word mangala in Pali that we use for blessing also means protection. You're made happy and you're made safe at the same time. So look inside for true safety, look inside for true happiness, because that's where the best safety and the best happiness can be found.